everyone, Brittany here, and today I'm going to be showing you how I do a secondary ferment with hard cider. So you'll see behind me, I have three different hard ciders going here. I have this one, which is the first ferment that I started a month ago, and this is what I'm going to be working with today. I have this half gallon that I did a secondary ferment on last week, and then this is my brand new uh, wild fermented hard cider. So this one won't, won't be messed with today. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this and I'll show you how to do a secondary ferment. So the tube that we have is not long enough, so what we usually end up resorting to doing is just pouring through a colander. And here I have a half a cup of the cider that I poured off and I just mixed in half a cup of sugar. I'll stir it in until it dissolves and then I'll let it cool down. For the secondary ferments I'm going to be trying two different flavors. I'm going to do a mango poblano pepper and a strawberry mint and lemon balm. And this mint and lemon balm is herbs that I saved from my garden last year. I'm happy to use it to make a delicious homemade cider. Okay, so I finally chopped up all the ingredients and now I will go ahead and add them into their bottles. Okay, now that this sugar uh, cider has cooled, I'm going to split it between the two bottles. I'll give it a good swirl to integrate all the ingredients and I'll top each of them with an airlock. And keep an eye on them. It has been 11 days. Since I started the secondary ferment and we're starting to see a lot of activity lots of bubbling and the mango jalapeno and then the strawberry got bubbling too the airlocks are actually bubbling so I'm gonna continue to let these go until I see less activity happening it's been 19 days since I started my secondary ferments with my hard cider. Got very little bubbling happening inside them now. So at this point, I think they're pretty much ready to be strained off. And we'll get to that here very soon. Alright, it's been 22 days since I started the secondary ferment of these hard ciders. And there's not much activity, so what I'm going to do now is strain each of these into these two jars through a colander, very slowly making sure to uh, not get any of the sediment, or as little of the sediment, into the final jars as possible. Okay, so here we have it, my hard ciders. All that's left to do is to do a taste test and see what they're like. Okay, first I'm gonna try the strawberry, lemon, balm, and mint. That's good, I don't get a lot of the strawberry, but I get the herbs coming through. It 
tastes alcoholic. <laughs> All right, and then next, the mango poblano. Cheers. That's good too. Not a lot of spice from the poblano. A little bit of the mango. So all in all, I would consider this a success. I made some homemade hard cider. And now all I need to do is share this with friends. So thank you guys for watching. And I hope that you see how simple it is to make hard cider yourself at home. At least how to do the secondary ferment. Um, you can get very creative and uh, just try anything. Um, that's my approach to fermentation is just experiment. See what works well. Take notes and try again. All right, so thanks for watching. Bye.